Learn English Through Stories, C16 PDF. Adopted and modified by Kulwant Singh Sandhu. Contents 1. Hum Thumb. 2. Mini Stories 1. 3. The Crystal Palace 4. The Fox and the Tortoise. 5. The Simple Present Tense. 6. Picture Dictionary Page. 1. Hum Thumb. Once upon a time, there lived a woodman with his wife. They did not have any children and always wished to have a little boy or a girl with whom they can play every evening. One day, the woodman and his wife were sitting in their room and talking, when suddenly the wife made a wish, how I wish we had a child who would bring us joy and happiness, even if it was as tiny as my thumb, I would have been the happiest. Soon a fairy entered their house and fulfilled their wish. They now had a boy who was just the size of their thumb. Both were delighted with joy and said, Look, how tiny he is, but he is our little boy, and we will always love him with our heart. They named the little boy Tom. Although his parents fed little Tom with healthy food, he did not gain any height. Years passed by and little Tom remained the same. Everyone called him Tom Thumb because of his height. But he grew up as a smart boy and loved his parents very much. One day, the woodman had to go to the nearby forest to get some wood. He was late and worried. If I wait for the cart to get ready, it will be very late. But I also cannot carry the wood without any cart, said the woodman. I will help you, father. I will bring the cart, said Tom Thumb. Hearing this, his father laughed. Ha ha ha, but my boy, you are too tiny to carry the cart. How will you reach the bridle of the horse, remarked the woodman. Tom quickly came up with an idea and said, Oh, don't worry, father. I will ask mother to harness the horse, and then I will reach to his ear and tell him where to go. Give me a chance to prove myself, father. I'm sure I can do it. Your cart will reach you by the time you need it, said Tom looking at the worried face of his father. Finally, his father agreed to go with his idea. Soon, little Tom set out towards the forest to take the cart to his father. On his way, the cart passed by two men. They were shocked to see the empty cart. One of the men said, I can hear some voice coming from that cart, but I cannot see anyone how strange it is. Even I am able to hear a male voice. Whose voice is it? I cannot see anything either, the other man remarked. Both the men, therefore, decided to follow the car. Tom Thumb, on the other hand, reached to his father. He was happy to bring the cart for his father on time. Hello, father, I'm here, see I brought the cart for you. I told you that I can do it easily, now, help me get down from the horse's ear. The two men following the cart could not believe what they saw. They were surprised to see the woodman gently pick up a tiny boy from the horse's ear. What am I seeing? Is this for real? How is this possible? questioned one of the men. We can get a good fortune if we take this tiny boy with us to show everyone around, said the other. Soon they approached the woodman to ask for Tom Thumb. Hey man, what price will you charge us for that tiny boy? asked both the men. How dare you, he is my son, I'm not giving him to anyone, said the woodman. Listening to the conversion, Tom Thumb whispered in his father's ear, Dad, charge a huge amount from both of them, don't worry, I will come back to you in no time. The father agreed and asked the men to give him a good amount of money. Both the men agreed to this and gave the amount to the woodman. Soon they took Tom along with them. After a while, both the men were tired and decided to rest under a tree. Little Tom thought to himself, This is a good opportunity for me to escape. He ran as fast as he could, until he reached a hole. He soon scampered down. I should hurry up and run from here, the hole, but by then the men were awakened. Hey, you come back to us or else it will not be good, shouted the men in anger. Ha ha ha, you cannot come down here and catch me, said Tom Thumb. 
Both the men tried their best to reach Tom through the hole, but failed every time. Finally, they gave up and went away. Little Tom was relieved and went back to his father. A few days later, his father took Tom Thumb to the fields to plow and handed him a straw whip to drive the cattle, but young Tom was quickly lost in the field. When an eagle saw him, it picked him up and carried him to the top of a hill. A giant's castle was located on that hill. When the giant saw Tom Thumb, it immediately put him into his mouth, expecting to swallow him whole. But Tom tried his best to escape and punched the monster from inside. The monster was so annoyed and disturbed that it decided to get rid of Tom and tossed him far away into the sea. However, Tom was not drowned because he had barely touched the water and was swallowed by a giant fish, which the fisherman later captured and presented to King Arthur as a gift. Everyone was surprised to find Tom inside the fish when it was opened. He was taken immediately to the king, who was surprised to see the bravery and smartness of Tiny Tom. Soon he was appointed the court dwarf by the king. Years passed by and Tom Thumb was remembered by everyone for his wise mind and smartness. 2. Mini Stories 1. A. Working at movie theaters. Rena needed a summer job. She decided to work at a movie theater. She wanted to work there in order to gain experience. She also loved movies. Since she worked at movie theater, she was able to watch free movies. It was a part-time job. She still had time to be with her friends and family. Rena had had different jobs. Sometimes she worked as a cashier. She would either sell tickets or food. Rena liked selling tickets better. Working with food was messy, and also a fast-paced environment. Sometimes Rena worked as an usher, which meant she had to clean the theater. B. Soccer game. Jessie was playing a soccer game today. She had been playing soccer for five years. She loved soccer. She played the position forward. As a forward, she had to try to make goals. She loved playing soccer because of the different skills it required. She liked kicking and also running. The team they were playing against was known to be good and had been undefeated so far. The game was going to start in an hour. She was a little nervous. Her team warmed up. They stretched. They practiced passing the ball around. They practiced taking shots at the goal. Jessie felt pumped up and ready for the game. C. Doing laundry. Tom usually did his laundry every Saturday, but he was starting to run out of t-shirts to wear. He felt dirty wearing the same clothes over again. He decided to do his laundry now. It was a lot of work. He gathered all his clothes and put them in the washing machine. He made sure to separate dark and light colors. After they were done, he put them inside the dryer. After they were dried, he had to turn all his clothes. He then had to iron them. He ironed all his clothes and folded them. He was finally done. 3. The Crystal Palace A prince and princess were in love and about to marry. One day, it was a warm, sunny morning. A gentle wind was blowing. The princess decided to sit on the balcony of her palace. A wicked magician was passing by. He saw the princess. She looked so beautiful in her morning dress and jewelry. The prince went to see the princess. She was not in her palace. The magician kidnapped her. The prince ran behind him but could not find him or the princess. After searching for a long time, he found a castle made out of crystal on top of a hill. As the prince reached the highest tower, he found the princess. But he could not rescue her as the door was locked with a spell. While thinking about what to do, he heard some cries. He saw three fairies were stuck in a trap. The kind-hearted prince rescued the fairies. Thank you, noble prince. We would like to give you something in return for your kindness. 
please take these gifts, the fairies said. One fairy gave him an invisibility cloak. The second gave him a flying horse, and the third gave him a magic stick that could open any door. Using these gifts, the prince rushed and rescued his princess. They got happily married and invited the three fairies to attend their wedding too. Moral. If you are kind, you will always be rewarded. 4. The Fox and the Tortoise Once, there lived a fox near a river and a beautiful lake. His coat was brown and his tail brown and white. He lived alone. He was separated from his family when he was quite young. He was a normal, healthy cub. With practice and determination, he became a skilled hunter. The fox hunted different preys on different days. On Monday, he hunted animals. Rabbits, mice or rodents, etc. On Tuesday, he ate earthworms. Wednesday was a meat-free day, and he ate fruit and vegetables. Apples, pears, carrots and moolies, etc. He hunted and ate birds every Thursday. He loved quail soup and roasted pigeon. On Friday, he went to the lake and ate fish and frogs. One day a week he fasts for health reasons. It was on Saturday or Sunday. One week he decided to fast on Saturday. It was very pleasant on Sunday morning. The sun was shining with a gentle breeze. The birds were chirping on trees. He decided to go for a walk around the lake. He got ready and set off. On the way he ate some berries. The fox was strolling along the lake when he saw a tortoise sitting on the bank of the lake. He sat quietly near the tortoise. The fox thought, I've never eaten a tortoise before. I wonder what it would taste like if it tastes bitter or chewy. I can always add curry powder and masala and make a spicy tortoise curry. When the tortoise started moving a little, the fox jumped and caught the tortoise. The tortoise hid his head and legs under his shell. The fox could not bite through the shell. He got angry and frustrated. The tortoise peeped out his head a little from his shell and said, Dear fox, why are you getting angry? The fox replied, It is your bloody shell. I can't break it. I am very hungry. The tortoise said, I don't mind if you want to eat me. I've seen plenty in my life. I wish to live no longer. As I'm getting older, my shell is getting tougher. There is one way by which my shell can become softer. If you throw me into the lake after half an hour, my shell will be much softer. This sounded the excellent advice to the fox. He threw his prey into the lake. The tortoise was a superb swimmer. Soon he was far away from the bank of the lake. From far away he shouted, Hello fox, I admire your foolishness. I am sorry, I can't stop laughing. The fox went home and thought, I thought I was clever and cunning but... 5. The simple present tense. The simple present tense expresses a general truth or a customary action. One. Uncle Banta Singh wears glass. Two. The moon revolves around the earth and the earth revolves around the sun. Three. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Four. Banto enjoys singing. Five. Cows eat grass. Six. Monkeys like bananas. Seven. Santa collects stamps. Eight. Fart Sing loves farting in the class. Use the simple present tense to tell the events of a story that is happening now. I arrive at school. I see another girl crying. I ask her why she is sad. She says she hasn't got any friends to play with. I tell her that she can play with me. Use the simple present tense to talk about things that are planned for the future. 1. We joined the junior football club in July this year. 2. My big brother leaves school at 4 o'clock. 3. The new supermarket opens next Friday. 4. The new grammar book comes out in September. 
5. Granda retires next year. 6. We fly to London next Thursday. 7. The plane lands at 5.30 p.m. 8. We move to our new flat in a month. Most verbs describe actions, so they are called action verbs. Action verbs tell what people or things are doing. Here are some common action verbs. Drink, look, jump, swim, fall, eat, shout, walk, throw, climb. Laugh, run, sit, catch, dance. 6. Picture, dictionary page.